Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Enthralling Pseudocomania. Now today we have a odd even Sudoku by Ashish Kumar. Now let me tell you, Ashish is one of the best puzzle setters in the world that we have today. And this puzzle of his, a three-time world champion has rated it as one of the best that he has ever seen. So, I mean, just looking at the puzzle, the digits given in the shape of a W, given the odd even markings in the form alternating and forming a W. I mean, you can be assured, no computer can even imagine this kind of a layout. And that is the beauty of a handcrafted puzzle. So we make sure that we try to present handcrafted beautiful puzzles to you. So if you have not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead, subscribe right now, click on the bell icon so that you are notified as and when we publish new content. Coming to the puzzle, the rules of classic pseudo who apply, that is no digit can repeat in a row, column or a 3x3 three three box. Additionally, cells with a gray circle can contain only odd digits. And cells with a gray square can only contain even digits. Now, just like I was discussing in the uh, video a couple of days back that I made on the consecutive pairs, whenever these kind of variants come in, I always use the notation of O and E, basically marking out cells that can contain only odd or even digits. That really helps open up the puzzle for me. So let's have a look at it. These circles will obviously be O's, right? And these gray squares will be even. Now when I look at row 5, I have 4 evens already, which basically means all the other cells have to be the 5 odd digits. Right? Similarly, when I look at <coughs> Sorry, I have a back throat today. Similarly, when I look at row 2, I again have all the 4 even digits given there, which again means the remaining 5 cells have to be odd. Now comes the twist. In column 1, I have 1 and 5 as given, which basically means the other 3 or O's have to be 3, 7 and 9. With 3 in the box, this has to be 7 and 9. This will be Six, seven, nine, and so this, which basically means we have accounted for all the five odd digits. So the remaining remaining four cells have to be even. Four, six, eight. Four, six, two, eight. Eight cannot be here. Six cannot be here. This is two, four, and this has to be two, eight because of the six and four. Here. Similarly, again, I have a five and a nine given in column five which basically means the remaining three O's have to be 137, 137, 137, which again accounts for all the five odd numbers and the remaining four cells have to be even. So with four and six here, this has to be 28, 246, eight. eight is here, so this has to be 246. So in this cell, I can't have an eight, six or a four. So this has to be a 2, which makes this an 8. This also becomes an 8. So this also has to be a 4, 6, 4, 6. And with this 8, I can eliminate it from here. So we have made some good breakthrough and progress here. Now again, I when I look at the last row, I have 2, 4, 6 and 8. So again, I have all the 4 even numbers. So these have to be odd. I just love the way how the odd and the even digits interact in this puzzle for us to proceed. Again now when I look at column 9, 9 is given and I have 4 places where odd digits are coming, which basically means the others have to be even. So here I have a 2 and a 4 in the box and 8 is in the column, so this has to be a 6, which makes this a 4 and this a 6. This becomes a 2. 
So here I can't have a 2, I can't have a 6, so this becomes a 4 and this becomes a 6. And with the 4 here, this has to be an 8 and this becomes a 4. It's just, just amazing. 4, 4, the 4 has to be in row 1. 8 also has to be in row 1. So this forms a pair of 4 and 8. Right? This 5 cannot be here, it can't be here, because of this it can't be here. So 5 has to be in row 2, which makes this a 5, and this becomes another 7. So now we got a pair of 7 and 9, which eliminates the 7 from here. So in this box, I can't have a 7 here, 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 so this has to be a 7. Good job, Right, 6, 6, so this becomes a 6. 2, 2, 2 has to be part of these 3, but these 2 being odd, this is the only place I can have a 2. Right? Now let's look at these even. So this has to be a 6 and an 8. Here I can't have a 4, 6 or an 8. So this has to be a 2. So this 2 act together to get 2 here. And this will be a 2 because this has to be a naught. <clears throat> and with 2, 2. So we account for all the 2's. So this has to be a 4, 8 and a 4, 6. Nine can't be here, nine can't be here. So this is a nine, which makes this a three, one, and a six to wrap up the row. And this becomes a one, so that I have a pair of three and a five here. Good, so once I can remove the one from here. <coughs> now, I have 2, 8, 6, and 4. Once again, I have all the 4 evens, so these have to be odds. And now in box 4, I have 3 O's along with 3, 7, 9 here. So which basically means again all the 5 odd numbers have been accounted for. So this also has to be 6 and 9. So this pair of 6 and 8, we get the 4 here and the 8 here. And by classic 4, 4, this becomes a 4. Right? Now, 3 cannot be here and 3 cannot be here. We are concentrating on the row 6. This can be a 3. Yes, it can. This can't be a 3. This is a 3. But when I look at box 8, this 3 cannot be here, it can't be here, so this odd has to be a 3, and 5, with this 5, becomes 5 here, and I have a 1. So once again, this 3 is out from here. So in row 6, the only place I can have a 3 would be here, which makes this 5, and R2, C9 as a 3. So 3, 3, can't be here, this is a 3. Right? That leaves me with 179 as the missing digits in row 9. But with this 9, this has to be a 17. I have a 1 here, so this is a 79. So let's scrap up this 8 here. So this would be a 1 and a 9. And this becomes a 19 because this 7 is locked in row 9 and box 9. This becomes a 7, so this also is a 1. Which makes this a 1 9 because 3 7 5 is already there. Now, when I look at this, I have a 9, 8, 7, 6, 1 and 5 are the missing digits, so that becomes a pair. So, this also becomes a 4 and an 8. The reason is this has to be an odd. So, 1, 3, 5, 7 is logged in this, so this has to be a 9, which makes this a 1 and a 9. 1 and a 9 and a 7 and a 1 which makes this a 5 7 pair 
this odd has to be 1, 9. So for 6, 6, this becomes a 6, 6, 8, 8, 4, 4. 9 is the only remaining digit in the column 8. 1, 1, 5. This 7 is the last remaining odd in row 6, which makes this a 9 and a 7. So this becomes a 9 because you have a 9 here. So this has to be a 3. 3, 7, 7, 5. And the final odd here would be a 5. What a lovely puzzle. I mean, I just love the way the odds and the even digits interacted with each other to push us forward. Believe me, if we don't put these parity markings, that is markings of odd and even, we would be stuck staring at this puzzle. Awesome job, Ashish. Really a wonderful puzzle. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So once again, to enjoy more such beautiful puzzles, if you have not already done so, subscribe to the channel and if you have liked the video, share it with your friends, click the like button, let others know about the channel and till the next time, happy solving.